What's up everybody, it's Boy Beam here. Uh, for breakfast I had a fried egg on toast, um, then later I had some coffee. For lunch I had um, For lunch I had um, a few hot dogs, and for dinner we had some mashed potatoes, and meatloaf, and green beans, and broccoli. Had four, four foods for dinner, it's so crazy. I was telling my mom, you know, it seems like a lot of, oh, here we go. it seems like a lot of trouble to have four different foods for dinner, and she was, she was insistent. She wanted to have four foods, and we did, and it was very good. Truthfully, it was very tasty. Um, I'm gonna see what I talked about last episode, one sec. Uh, okay, yeah, so I did talk about my battery. So yesterday, of course, my battery arrived, right? This thick battery. But, um, but two things arrived today. And, um, they were, um, um here it is. They were, this thermal paste, uh, K5 Pro thermal paste. Uh, and I did like 10 minutes of thermal paste research. This seemed like the best thermal paste. Um, and uh, a cooler. And uh, you know, the new cooler is in my laptop right now. So I'm just gonna show you the old cooler that used to be in my laptop. And uh, yeah, here it is. Um, it's just like a little fan with a little exhaust thing here and um, copper, this is where it touches the CPU. Uh, so pretty much, um, on, um, so notice how there's like one heat pipe going from the, um, the fan up here down to where the CPU is connected. Uh, if you get a version of my laptop with the GPU, um, which I don't need, um, I don't know, doing some sort of GPU accelerated things except for like using my browser, but that's fine on the CPU. Um, if you get the version of this laptop with the GPU, there are actually two heat pipes going over here. And it goes over for the extra GPU module over here, right? So there, but the main thing is that there are two heat pipes, right? And, uh, you know, the thing is, is that um, if you get the version without the GPU, it's just this single heat pipe. And uh, that seems fine in theory, but the thing is, is that the CPU still runs way faster and it throttles way less if you have two heat pipes instead of one because it doesn't have to bring its speed down to maintain temperature, right? Um, so a pretty common mod for the ThinkPad T480 is to basically get um, this, um, is to replace this single heat pipe cooler with um, the double heat pipe cooler that comes with the GPU model, right? Um, so I bought that, I also bought that thermal paste. I, um, I didn't think we had any alcohol, but turns out we have 70% um, isopropyl alcohol. Um, I actually don't know if it's isopropyl, I, I don't know what the term is, but we have 70% alcohol um and you know i was able to rub it off of the thing this used to be covered in thermal paste um i used q-tips and like a microfiber cloth that i had to throw away um and that seemed to work pretty that seemed to work pretty okay i had like no trouble um but yeah so i i took that off um and i put on the k5 pro onto the cpu and on yeah onto the cpu and uh yeah i, I screwed on the um the cooler um, one thing I did notice is, um, so something you have to do is that since this, um, pipe extends out to here, like there's a section, it's like this long, right? Uh, for the GPU, since there's no GPU, um, there's going to be a bunch of copper coming into contact with a bunch of contacts and, uh, that's bad, right? So the thing I did was there's an extra copper section just like this over here. I covered that in electrical tape and just in case I got, um, this is actually... My dad gave me a, a little wallet as a present. He got it as like a Kickstarter thing. Um, it came with some packaging foam and I cut out a little square on the packaging foam and I just put it, um, yeah, and I just cut out a square of the packaging foam and I put it where the GPU would have been for that cooler. Um, and it made the connection pretty tight and now there's a square of foam inside of my laptop, but that's pretty fun, you know? I think it adds like a personal touch, you know? It's a little endearing, right? Um, but yeah, so I upgraded my cooler and, uh, then the next upgrade will be the glass trackpad, which arrives on Wednesday. Um, and then I'm pretty much done with upgrades. 
Honestly, I, I really want to get a brighter screen. I tried using this outside on a sunny day, and uh, it was a pretty bad experience. Of course, I'm spoiled by my phone, which goes up to 2,000 nits outside, which is kind of crazy. Um, you know, I should be able to see, uh, you know, see my screen outside without like squinting, you know what I mean? So I might get a better screen, maybe. They're like really expensive, so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, the laptop's been good. I've just been, uh, since last night, I've been setting up um, Polybar. That's, my, my voice sounds so weird if I cover up my ear versus if I do this. Like it sounds normal like this, but then it sounds weird. Like it sounds weird when I do this. Um, I set up my compositor and I set up my terminal and I set up, and I'm setting up my poly bar. Um, you know, you know how that's working out. Um, and I don't know, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I've also been doing XDG base directory stuff. Uh, whenever I do a fresh Arch install, so, so the way Linux works is it puts a bunch of configuration files in like your home directory and that's like where you boot into on your terminal. So if you list all the files and where you boot into it lists all these files, right? And by default, a lot of software puts their configuration files right there. But um, if you move those configuration files to your .config folder um, and then you tell the software that it's there, um, it's actually fine and it's not in your home directory anymore. So it results in your home directory looking pretty clean, right? Um, look up, Luke Smith is a crazy person, but um, look up uh, Luke Smith spring cleaning um, and the video with like the like the trad wife Wojak in the thumbnail is, is a video that sort of describes the phenomena that I'm describing, but um, yeah, so you can make it look a little clean. And a phenomena that's specific to me is, you know, whenever I do a fresh Arch install, um, I'm always very particular on, you know, they're called XDG base directories. I'm very particular on these, right? But, um, you know, over time, I'm just installing stuff and I don't have time to like do it like properly. I do have time, but I'm just, I'm lazy and I'm, 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 I'm crazy, right? Um, so I have to, um, so, you know, I'm, I'm being pretty particular with XDG base directory right now. My uh, file list in my home directory is pretty clean, but who knows in the future, you know, when I'm at school and I download something for something and it puts its thing in my home directory and by the time I remember that I added something, I, I forget like what it was and like if it can do it, um, whatever, but you know, it, it's working out pretty well. Um, and yeah, I exercise today. I've been exercising every day this week, but um, you know, I, I haven't described my exercises I think every day. Um, I ran for an hour, um, I, yeah, an hour and five minutes, it was six miles, I burned 782 calories, and my average heart rate was 145. Alright, I have to go to bed. Uh, alright, see you, dude.